All right, my beautiful friends. Uh, interesting day here on Wall Street. We need to talk about a few things. Uh, all right, let's start off with this. There was a nice rally early on on Wall Street. Dow Jones Industrial Average up nearly 200 points. Stocks up across the board. Uh, looking real good. Then, all of a sudden, a little story came out. Uh, and it was that China is apparently uh, not playing along too well with regard to uh, these trade talks. And the market, almost in a blink of an eye, uh, went flat. Then another story was floated out. Hold on a second. Uh, there seems to be a little confusion. This was damage control. Uh, stocks started to gain again. And then it came out yet again that uh, China is, uh, again, not happy with whatever the heck they're talking about behind closed doors. Um, so the market didn't like it. Market ended up essentially flat. Dow Jones Industrial Average down fractionally. S&P 500 up a fraction. Um, look, the, the story with China is definitely a market driver. You all know that. I mean, can it be more obvious than what happened here today? Unfortunately, China understands that there is no way in hell or otherwise that the president is going to raise tariffs like he promised he would. So they don't care um, at this point. Uh, this trade war is going to drag on um, for a long period of time. We're going to get, you know, it, it, it's going really well. We have them over a barrel. It's tremendous. And China's going to just, you know, laugh in the background. It's the truth. The, the, without this stock market taking a hit, China knows that uh, the president will do nothing uh, because of that. He will not allow the stock market to fall. And that's the only way that China is going to come forward is if, if President Trump finally does what he said he would do. And that is, you know, punish China. We're going to hit their economy. We're going to raise tariffs. It's gone. It's all gone now. Now they're all pals. They're all, you know, lovey-dovey. But, but, but China is playing this really well, in my view. They understand the situation. And they're exploiting it to the nth degree. They realize that. And unfortunately, the United States is going to suffer because of that. The goal is simple, to push stocks higher at all costs. Does not matter. Uh, magnify the existing distortions in asset classes. Forget about real trade. Bail people out. Subsidize everything. That's what's happening. All because our president does not want the stock market to take a hit. And China knows it. <laughs> um, it's sad, but true. It really is. Um, this doesn't have to drag out. And I can say this, too. Would the stock market take a hit if President Trump were to do what he said without any doubt? But would the stock mar market more than likely recover relatively quickly? Absolutely. I think it would in this environment. Why? Because we have the six Wall Street banks propping up the market. I honestly do not understand why the president won't do what he said. That's If he would just do that, China would roll over. They would roll over and play dead or be dead, one or the other. But they, but they understand the situation. It's as glaring as glaring can be. It won't happen, but that's what needs to happen here. Um, but instead, we're going to get more bailouts uh, for like the farmers there. They're going to get more money. There'll be other industries looking for bailouts as well. You will pay for it. You will pay for it. And no one is, very few of you are going to stand up and stand against it. Um, 
earlier the video I did, I wrote that we were all responsible for what's going on here. And a lot of people took offense to that. And then I write back to them and say, well, what have you done? Did you stand up when the farmers were being bad out and say no? Or what have you stood for or against? Where's your blog? All right. Don't start picking on things unless you have a voice. And sadly, a lot of these people, they have no voice at all. They sit there, they criticize, but they won't stand up for a single thing uh, that they believe uh, or believe in. And that's sad. Uh, me, I personally don't give a damn. I, I, I sit here and I tell you all how I see it as clear as I possibly can. And some people do get hurt, offended, and whatever it may be. And I really, you know, I don't care. Some people need to a little bit of a wake up call, and that's the truth. So anyway, in, in summary, it was a nice rally here on Wall Street. This guy here posted all over my social networks that I closed my entire position on my SPY calls very close to the high of the day. I'm a happy guy. I am in nothing right now. Um, I'm going to wait this out in ex for the next couple of days. I also posted this. Look, follow me on Twitter. If you really want to beat this market, I I posted when I entered that position. I posted when I closed that position today. I will post when I enter a new one, when I close that one too. This is the game. I told you, you will not lose under my watch. I will not allow that to happen. My lions, my lionesses, my beautiful lion cubs. Yeah, I love you all. It's the truth. And you're not going to lose. It's that simple, period. Um, anyway, with that said, again, stocks were higher. Nice rally. Uh, U.S.-China trade talks are not going as well as uh, we're told. They're not so fantastic, tremendous. We don't have them over a barrel. Clear as day. So ignore the lies. Ignore the lies. Ignore the freaking lies. Uh, and realize what's going on here. And if our president really wanted to win, he could. He, this, but the stock market would take a temporary hit. Could be substantial. But I think it would rebound. I really do. Uh, especially if whatever was negotiated um, was in the best interest of the United States. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen uh, at this time, sadly. Really, I, let me explain this to you. If I were to turn on the TV and I saw President Trump saying, we're going to raise tariffs today, next week, and this is what we're going to do, I would jump for freaking joy because finally the man would be telling the truth uh, and he would realize that the stock market has to take a hit. That's it. Until then, the Chinese are going to laugh their asses off. It's the truth. At every single thing, there's no negotiation here when they are holding the Trump card. Right, with that said, I love you all. <laughs> I really do. And I'll see you in the morning.